It has been forever. Oh my goodness. You know, I have told several people who have been so kind to go, is everything okay? Are you stopping recording videos? Are you alright? Thank you all for that, first of all. That is so sweet. I'm fine. I'm, I'm really quite well. Um, it's just, I always think there's a certain level of chaos and kind of busyness that we'll reach and then it, it can't get any busier or more chaotic. And somehow it does, every time. <laughs> so... Um, just so many things going on. Um, our oldest son is graduating from high school um, in about a month here. Um, so we're planning graduation party and you guys, I am not a party planner. I <laughs> I've never had to plan a big party uh, because there's so many of us, you know, birthdays and things like that, we tend to keep pretty small just because it's not possible for us to have, you know, nine huge parties every year. So I'm, I'm, very, um, I'm very nervous about planning the graduation party very nervous. So that's been going on. Um, my parents are coming up from Florida for that, so I'm super excited for that. I cannot wait to see my mom and dad. Um, Mike has had away games, um, road trips with the hockey team every other week for, I want to say, almost two months now. So he's been gone on and off quite a bit. Um, Liam turned three and this is a phase that I knew was coming. Um, it's not like I haven't been through it before, um, but I didn't have videos to record before when the other kids were this age. So while we thought his terrible twos had kind of hit already, they really hit this month. <laughs> so if you guys watched the first video of my Evernote series, I know several of you said, you know, gosh, it's kind of hard to focus on what you're saying when he's making so much noise in the background, and I apologize for that. I knew this phase would come where doing this would become difficult because you know, he's getting to the point where he doesn't take a nap during the day. Hmm. Ask me how I feel about that. <laughs> and it, I knew that my schedule would have to change as he entered this phase. Well, that time definitely came about a month, month and a half ago, just about the same time that uh, Mike started having to be on the road a lot. <laughs> so now the hockey team is in the playoffs. Woohoo! So uh, Michael is in Texas right now. Um, I get to go pick him up tomorrow afternoon. He's been gone for what feels like forever. Some of the road trips seem like they go really fast. Some of them seem like they take forever. And this one just really feels like a long trip for both of us. Um, I think we've texted each other each 50 times. Wow, I really miss you this time. <laughs> I miss him every time, but I feel like he's been gone for a month. So uh, it kind of makes me nervous for next fall because he's pretty much gone all of September every fall now. And uh, if uh, four or five days feels like this, ooh. <laughs> So it's just been chaos. And then the typical end of school year chaos, you know, um, Wee Jack had his open house at his middle school. Oh, that does not seem possible. Jack is going to go to middle school next year. Um, his next older brother, Hunter, will be an eighth grader at the same school, so at least they'll be there together. But that feels really weird to me. <laughs> so we've had that and just, you know, just stuff, just all kinds of stuff. So all of the chatty chatty aside, I'll have to mark the time where I actually start talking about planner stuff down in the description, so if you all want to skip the chit chat, you can. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I have done, and I one reason I haven't posted this sooner aside from all the other stuff, especially Liam, that's been a big change for all of us, just his change in schedule, um, was I, I wanted to try this out. I wanted to try it and make sure it worked so that I knew what I was talking about. Um, so I have changed my setup a little bit. I mean, the, regardless of what I put it in or what size it is, my system is nearly always the same. Doesn't matter what inserts I'm using. It doesn't matter if I'm in a ringed binder or like a Midori style notebook. My setup can change, but it always adheres to my system. And the system isn't something that like I put a lot of like research into or anything. It's just what's kind of evolved over the years as I've, you know, tried different things and, you know, read different books about productivity. Um, and then when I discovered all the planner videos on YouTube, um, you know, that kind of evolved. But, but my main system is always the same. Um, and that kind of goes back to the idea of wanting to find planner piece. And I get wanting to have your stuff in a book that you like, uh, because if you have your stuff in a book that you can't stand, you might not use it. So I'm, I'm all for having things in a book that you like, but you still have to have a system that works for you or it doesn't, I, at least in my opinion, just me, it, 
I can have a beautiful book for my my planner, but if I have a crappy system, I'm I'm just going to be frustrated by it and I won't use it. So my system is pretty much the same, so I won't have to go into that too much. But by all means, if you guys have questions, let me know. Um, but I have I have downsized. <laughs> can you believe it? Um, I to carry with me right now going out and about. Um, I found that several times. I was leaving the house especially to go to hockey and especially to go to school functions. I was not taking my planner with me at all. Anything I had in it that was wallet related, if, if I even had it in the planner, I would put it all in my wallet and I would take my wallet and my phone and go. Um, because like especially to those kinds of things, I already have a bag of stuff for Liam. So, and I don't carry a lot. I've never been a mom that hauls a whole bunch of stuff because I have a kid with me. But I mean, there are some necessities I have to take. He's gotta have a drink with us. He's gotta have a snack. He's like the worst eater ever. So anytime I can get him to eat anything, I'm all about it. So I always make sure I have snacks that, that he'll eat with me so that if I catch him in the mood to eat, I can get him to eat something. And he's nearly potty trained, so we're still doing like the diapers and pull-ups and wipes and junk like that. You can't not have it. So I have this bag full of stuff and putting my regular, you know, regular Midori size narrow notebook in there, it, a lot of times I just wouldn't take it with me, especially to hockey and the school functions. At school functions, we're moving around a lot. It's one more thing in the bag. You know, I was worried about it getting really beat up. I'm generally not very precious with my notebooks at all, you guys, but I have them so that I will use them, right? So I, I just don't want to be overly precious with them. And besides that, I like that kind of beat up, distressed, lived in kind of look anyway. So, um, but I wouldn't take it with a lot of times if I have a drink in there in my bag. I don't want the planner to get wet. Um, for Liam, I mean a drink. Um, and I wasn't taking my planner with me to those things. You know, to hockey, I'll stick my, I'll take a big purse and I'll put all Liam's stuff in it and my wallet. And then my phone generally is in my pocket or in my purse. And I'll stick my purse under my seat. Well, I didn't want my notebook in there and have any of that get stepped on. So I generally wouldn't take it. And three times in a row that we went out, two times to hockey and to one school function, I needed that planner and I didn't have it with me. And that hasn't happened to me in a very long time. So I thought, okay, I three times in a row, like the universe is poking me going, hey, <laughs> pay attention. So I thought if I downsized, I would be more liable to take it with me. So I went down to a pocket size. Um, it holds field notes, notebooks, and um, I wanted to give it a shot and just see if it would work. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you. I've been using this since, oh, third week of March. So it's been about a month um, that I've had this set up this way and it's pretty much stayed the way I've had it set up. I did take out one notebook and stick some folders in and I'll show you guys that. Um, but all the links to all the stuff I'm using, I'll put down below. Um, longest intro ever, but I wanted to say hi to everybody and thank everybody for checking up on me and explain why I've been gone so long. I owe you guys an explanation for that. So, um, Hopefully today is a recording day. There is like no sun to speak of, so I'm right in front of the big window. That's why you're getting all the glare off the glasses. I'm sorry, you guys, for that, but this is the only location in the house where I can record and have any light today. It's really a gloomy day. So um, more videos coming up, okay? Um, holler if you guys have questions and let me know what you think, okay? Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, so here is what I've been using for the last month, and this is working wonderfully. I have taken this planner everywhere with me and those instances of needing it and not having it have stopped which is fantastic um it's also serving as my wallet okay i have a chair in the way here let me scoot that over um these are the notebooks i've been using in here um this and one other line um, from field notes so i started at the end of march so this one was in here and it has um kind of the beginning of march or the end of March, I'm sorry, and then most of April, but of course, because I didn't start at the beginning of the month, I couldn't fit all of April in here uh, because the beginning was taken up with the end of March. So, um, let me see, let me show you the notebook first. Let's do that, and then I'll show you what I had going on in there. So, this is a pocket-sized All-American in Spice from ChicSparrow.com, okay? Um, there are three colors that are available um, in, in this particular run, basically. So there's, um, 
there's a black plum, a maple sugar, and spice, and this is the spice, okay? Um, it has pockets on the inside. It's a spine closure. That This is the first notebook I've had with a spine closure, and I'll tell you what, I really like it. At the back, if the closure was in the back, it never bothered me, never thought a thing about it, um, but I really, really like that spine closure. That is really slick, so I'm thrilled with that. Um, and I have to show you guys, look at this sweet little charm. This is from Annika Hanby on Etsy, and I have some of her folders in here as well. I'll show them to you, um, but isn't that sweet? It's a little flower, and I love that it's on a lobster clasp. I think that's what that's called. Oh, um, it's just tiny enough. You guys know me. I like the really tiny, you know, if I'm going to put a charm in there, I want it to be small. So I put that up there, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So I feel like this thing is tipped funny, the camera. <laughs> probably because it's been a while since I recorded. So in here we have debit cards that I forgot to take out. <laughs> so in here, two pockets, like card size. So my driver's license and um, my two debit cards go in there. And then there's a full pocket behind there that I just have some stamps thrown in there right now. Sometimes I have little, you know, if I know I'm going to need some scratch paper or something, I throw it in there. But I do have that kind of spread out throughout here in the folders too. So I took it out of there, stuck it in the folders. But um, I've been burning through stamps lately, which is crazy. So I stuck some stamps in there. Um, and then there are four elastics in here. So that is what I have. And I'll go through the contents in a second, you guys. But it's four spine elastics. See that? And then back pocket. Okay, so a full kind of like a secretarial back pocket. And then pen loop. Okay, contrasting stitching. They all come with white stitching. And I wish I could describe this leather. I told Jennifer that I, I'm i having a really hard time. I've been thinking about this for weeks for when I record this video, how am I going to describe this leather? Um, I know a couple of you have gotten um, this, maybe not the same size, but the same notebook made out of the same leather, regardless of the size. And I'd be really interested to hear how you guys describe it because I am having a hard time describing it. It's very smooth to the touch. Um, it, it doesn't, it's not suede feeling at all. It's very, there you can kind of see the shine on it. And as I have hauled it, um, when I got it, the first thing I did before I put anything in it was I did do some, some rolling. I kind of, you know, rolled it around a little bit. Um, you know, it was all empty, so I had it laid open and I just kind of took both edges and kind of went like this to the spine portion a little bit. I didn't want to be too rough on that because obviously the pockets are stitched in here and I didn't want to put, you know, undue strain on the pockets. Um, I just kind of wanted to loosen the spine up a little bit because I did have this more stuffed than it is now. I had, before I put the folders in there, um, I had this notebook in there in the, the very front um, on the first elastic as well. Um, I did take this out because I found I wasn't using it because, and I'll explain what, what that was about, but um, this leather is very smooth. It's very shiny. Um, it did get rained on leaving the grocery store one day when I hadn't taken my bag in with me. I just threw my phone in my back pocket and grabbed this and Liam and went. And so it was sprinkling when we came out of the grocery store and it left little dark spots on it. And within like an hour, they were completely gone. Um, just, it's just gorgeous. You can see where I kind of, I think my keys may have gotten it. I didn't hook my keys onto the, the hook in my bag one day. I just kind of chucked them in there not thinking, and I think my keys may have gotten it. But that's all it did. Like, it made this tiny, tiny little kind of indentation. And that's and I like that. I don't mind that one bit. Um, I thought there was another one I could show you. There's a little tiny crease right here and right here. I believe that may also be from being in my bag. It may be from the zipper on my makeup bag. Um, but I, I like that. So, but considering... The beating this thing has taken in the last month it is it doesn't look like it's you know taken a beating it is gorgeous it takes imprints I think very well I love that there's a little tiny dimple down there next to my name that cracks me up I love it um it, I mean the the inscription looks gorgeous it's nice and deep and crisp um so I don't I'm having a hard time the longer I've hauled it it has gotten softer but not in kind of a suede sort of way and what I mean by that is if any of you have a creme brulee notebook from Chic Sparrow or if you've ever felt one um, they that's the only word I can think of it is it almost has a suede feel to it without being suede it doesn't have as much like 
I don't know, I guess nap to it as suede does, but this is a whole different kind of leather. This very much reminds me of my Lux, very much. Um, just like a very smooth, not slick. I don't want to say slick. Gosh, I told you guys I'm having a real hard time describing it, but it is gorgeous. And it's obviously, you know, it's got some structure to it. The leather itself, without the pockets, you know, has some structure to it, but it's still very flexible. Obviously, it's tighter where the pockets are because you've got, you know, layers of leather on there. Um, and that was why when I kind of rolled it to loosen it up when I first got it, I, I didn't want to roll it a whole lot. I didn't want to disrupt any of that stitching. So let me show you what I have going on inside. Um, I did have this notebook on this first elastic and this I tabbed, um, the front is all um, income stuff for Mike and myself. And then I have a spread for each month and I tabbed them with numbers. This is forward planning. So um, if I feel the need, you know, I have my financial pages in my narrow size Lux. So, you know, I wouldn't need to, but you could, you know, write the days that your bills are due over here if you want, any forward planning you have. Um, but I found that, first of all, I wanted some pretty folders. <laughs> and I'll tell you about those in a second. And secondly, anything that is going to be upcoming, I can write on my regular daily page and then transfer it over into the monthly calendar that I also have in my narrow size Lux. And that's just at my desk. So I didn't really need any forward planning in here. This is carry with me out of the house kind of thing. So I'm still using this, but I keep it at my desk with my locks. So I'm going to set that aside. So on the first note or on the first elastic, I have two folders um, that I hooked together. Um, just like when you add two notebooks to um, your Midori style notebook, you know, you use an elastic and hook the back of the front notebook to the front of the back notebook, if that makes any sense. Um, that's how I did it, but I just did it to the folders. So these two pieces I have hooked together with an elastic and I slid them underneath the first elastic in the notebook so I could have two folders up there. I've found that I really like having my folders in the front. I always, always, always stick my folders in the back. I don't know why. Um, I don't know if it's a holdover from being a school kid and carrying a binder. So I always had my note paper in the front and my folders in the back. But I really like having my folders in the front, especially since I have cards up here anyway. This is all kind of wallet stuff anyhow. So I really like having them in the front. Having them in the front. Now I have covered them. I've put a plastic cover around each one of these. Um, they didn't come with that. Okay. These. Oh, there goes my Zoom. Come on back. Hello. <laughs> Uh, these folders are from Annika Hanby on Etsy. Um, she has a gorgeous Etsy shop. Um, she makes these really cool notebooks, and actually I'm going to show you uh, one in a separate video. Um, but she also has all these folders in all different sizes. Um, you can order them with four pockets or six pockets, and they come with the contrasting paper on the inside. And you can see on the listings where it shows, you know, here's one paper, here's the other. So these are four pocket notebooks. So there's a pocket here and then a full pocket up here. And these are field note size. Okay. She also does a six pocket. Um, so that's an upgrade option on her shop as well. So again, this one, you've got pockets down here, full pockets up here. And this is where all my scratch paper and my extra post-its and stuff went. This is pretty much wallet stuff. This is like grocery shopping list, punch cards, receipts that, you know, I know I need to hang on to. Um, like I grabbed some clothes for a couple of the kids at Target the other night, but they weren't with me. So I throw the receipt in this tall pocket until they've tried it on and I know I don't have to exchange it for anything else. Um, some coupons in here. And I, you guys know I love my tiny paper clips. So I've got some of those as well. So this folder and this up front pretty much serves as wallet. If I have checks to deposit, I do tend to stick those back here in this pocket. Um, but otherwise, they, otherwise everything else for the wallet is all right here. Okay, so go check out Annika Hanby on Etsy. She has a really, really cute shop. And I will be showing you guys um, the other notebook from her shop as well. My class notes are in there right now. So to record another video. Um, and then if you guys caught a flash of these, this is also coming up in a video. These are um, stickers from um, the Reset Girl shop. Um, and I will be doing um, a stationary, basically stationary favorites video. And that's part of that because I have several stationary and kind of office supply things to show you guys. Um, my next book is my it's basically kind of evolved into a bullet journal style. Um, what I found was, oh, here comes Liam and I know he's going to make noise. One second, guys. 
Okay, I'm back. Liam is settled in having a snack and he's right there. So we're going to see how we do here. Um, so I had to watch back through the end of that video to see where I had left off um, the, the prior portion of this one. Um, basically what, what I had in here first, they're all field notes notebooks, but I did have this one in here before. So these are these really colorful ones. I want to look and make sure I get it right. These are the Two Rivers edition, okay? And they are, let me show you a blank page. They are this lovely gridded, kind of a, a brown khaki colored grid, uh, grid. I love it. I absolutely, you guys know I'm obsessed with grid paper anyway, so that it's kind of a nice muted natural color grid, I love. Um, so that is what the bright notebooks are. See, here's another one. And then, this one, I want to say it's called, I want to get it right, Cherry Graph. So these are the ones that are, the cover is actually wood. See that? It's so pretty and it goes well. So, <laughs> so here's what I had going on here. Um, <clears throat> because I wanted to be able to take things with me, I needed it to be smaller. So field notes was the first thing that kind of ran through my mind. Secondly, in the last month or so, schedule changes for me, um, well, between Liam kind of shifting into this phase right now, and I had classes start up again. So those two things put together have meant that I have, I still have things to do. I still have a lot of things to do. <laughs> I'm so behind you guys. Um, but a lot of those tasks tend to be longer. So I have fewer tasks that take more time versus having more tasks that take less time. Does that make sense? So I wasn't using a full day per page in my narrow, in my regular size pages. So put those things together and field notes was the first thing that popped into my head. And then they came out with this Two Rivers set. I love this set. Um, these are printed at a printing museum in Two Rivers, Wisconsin, which immediately caught my eye because I spent a lot of time as a kid in Two Rivers, Wisconsin with my grandparents. So that immediately kind of, you know, tugged at my heart a little bit. So I have, I never do this, you guys, but I have several packs of these tucked away because I love them, um, but I use them. So I don't feel too bad, but I never ever do that. I get like what I need and that is it. So, um, and then these cherry ones just caught my I because you know earth tone girl that I am I, I love the feel of this it's a teensy teensy bit rough but not much um, and it has the same grid paper in it that the two rivers notebooks does or do goodness the English I talk it <laughs> so let me show you how I had this set up and how it's changed um, I had thrown the end of March in here uh, because I was dying to switch it out but let me take a look here yeah we're all okay so here's what I had set up for April so there was kind of my projects and tasks page. This was still tasks and then events. So these were tasks that were, um, you know, pertinent to this month, like getting the van sticker, you know, getting birthday gifts. We had several birthdays this month. And then I went to a week just on a page of just kind of a weekly list. And then I went to a page per day. And as you'll see right away, I wasn't always using up the page per day. See how empty that is? Now this one was better. I got quite a bit on there, but it's just, I I wasn't using it all every day and it was kind of getting to me. See like there I used up quite a bit again, but I just, I don't want to waste the paper. It drives me crazy to waste the paper, um, especially when I've like decorated in advance. So I got toward the end of this last week, like Thursday and Friday, I thought, okay, you know what? I, first of all, I'm running out of space at the end of this notebook. This notebook will not make it till the end of April. There's no way. I only have like two pages left back there. So I moved things into a new one. I still put the April schedule in here um, because I here was the cutoff point, like the halfway point. There were only three things. I wasn't even thinking at the time, like I didn't need to write these top three things down. I was just copying over so quickly because I had a minute to do it. Um, so these are all the things that I knew about through the end of the month that were going on and then these were the tasks. Okay? 
that pertain to the entire month. And these two I highlighted because there was a conflict. Um, and that is, that'll play into this later. I've kind of, I'm, I'm trying something out, kind of in that mood that I wanted to play with things a little bit. Um, and I got to upgrade my phone a little bit ago. So I'm playing with an app for time tracking and I'm gonna, it's called Toggle, T-O-G-G-L. And I'm gonna show you guys that in a separate video, okay? Um, but I really have been sort of leaning toward just a bullet journal style notebook. I don't know why. I don't know what, you know, shifted in my head, but a lot of it I know had to do with having fewer tasks that took longer. So what I was doing um, for the schedule was I was writing it in at the top of the page and I used a little clock and I still had everything color coded. However, for the first time in probably two years, I have had more schedule conflicts with the boys' schedules overlapping in the last maybe three weeks than I've had probably in the last two years combined. No exaggeration. And I almost missed the first one because I only had it written out like this. I That taught me right away. I have to have my schedule vertically laid out so that I can see where there are overlaps and I can see it quickly. So because, and I did try out some vertical, let me see if I can find it, down the edges of the page. And it was all right. It was all right. But something like that, I don't mind this page being kind of open, use it any way I want, but my times, I like to have structure for my times. Everything else I want to be as kind of free flowing and organic as possible. My times, because of those possible overlaps, I need to have structured. So here's what I did. I printed out, and these colors are not true, okay, because my printer was running out of ink. I printed out uh, Marsha Bermucci on Etsy, um, came out just this last week, it was either just this last week or possibly the week before with a vertical week on two pages insert in her Etsy shop. Okay, and I'll put the link down there. Um, so what I did was I got, if I'm remembering correctly now, I have to think, the personal size and is that right? If this is wrong, I will correct it down below and I will annotate the screen to tell you guys, but Liam is being quiet and if I don't keep recording now, I'm going to lose my chance. Here's what I think. I think these are the personal size for a ringed binder. Okay, and I printed them at 80% and these colors are not true. Okay, so and because my printer's running out of ink. So these are more of there's a brown, there's kind of a pinkish color, a blue. These colors in these bars are gorgeous. And it's just a vertical weekend two pages. I printed it on both sides and it just so happened. I just test printed one page to see if it would work. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday fell on this side of the page. And when it printed the opposite side, lo and behold, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday automatically printed right behind that. I love it when that happens um, because it wasn't designed to do that. Okay. And I was tweaking it and hoping I could make it work. Um, so I put the schedule for the week on here and this saved me again this last week. So I'm so glad I did this um, because we had quite an overlap on Thursday. We had some chaos going on over here. So I just tipped that in with some washi and I did the same thing for this upcoming week too. Oh, but I have it clipped together. These little clips we're going to talk about too in a separate video. That's going to go in my office supply and stationary favorites video because these little clips are so cool and they are so awesome and I love them. So I will show you. Those are from Chiogami Crafts on Etsy. I'll put the link down there, but those are going to be in a separate video as well, you guys. Um, so here is, dun, 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 if my hands and my brain will work together, we'll be in business. Here is the upcoming week printed out and in there and that one I actually color coded properly. So that resolved the need for me to have any times on, you know, in my like running days bullet journal. So I went from having kind of a page per day like this that I wasn't always using up to pulling the regular schedule, just like the school run schedule, putting it onto a vertical week on two pages here. Okay. And then this last week, I just kind of, everything just kind of morphed into this. Now I did still put, like I had an eye doctor appointment on Monday. So I wrote that in so I wouldn't forget about it. Cause that's obviously not something I do every Monday. Um, and I just went to using what space I need. So it's almost turned into like a bullet journal style thing. Now it's only been this week. Okay. Um, I can still make it, you know, visually interesting if I want to. I throw some washi on there when I begin the day. Um, I haven't even set up today yet, you guys. I haven't even finished checking off stuff from last night. Um, last night was the first playoff game, so instead of working like I should have been while Liam was the only one home, we were watching hockey and shouting and jumping up and down and cheering in the living room. So, 
So this is what's been going on in here. And so far, so good. I'll keep you guys updated. But right now, just with, with what's going on with like classes and things, there are a lot of things that take a lot of time, but they aren't as many things as having more things that take less time. So I, you know, and I don't want to waste the paper. I don't, I want to maximize my space here because this is my carry along. So I need to maximize my space. So that is what is going on in the daily. And I have um, this next folder also just, this is just part of a sheet protector. It's very floppy, um, but I just wanted to cover that folder. This is another folder um, from Anika Hanby on Etsy. And this one has business cards, scratch paper, and in the back of it, I have Mike's business cards and some more scratch paper that are like printed for lists. And this one is pretty much all school stuff. Um, so I have you know, like you get your syllabus and I tend to be one of those people where I get my syllabus and I lay everything out right away, kind of like a project page so that I can go through, you know, as I'm getting things done, because I have multiple classes going on, I need to be able to keep track of where I left off in each one and just do it quickly. So I kind of have one central place to do that. So I've got everything laid out that needs to be done for that class, everything laid out that needs to be done for that class. And then this is for the full on track of classes, what needs to be done. So I've got that tab back here on the current one. And then I didn't show you this, but these little tabs in the back are sticker savers. So that's what that little yellow one is in the back of that one. So that is that notebook and I have this folder around it. And then the last one, so that's kind of like school project pages basically. Okay, that's all school stuff. And I do carry that with me. You would think why on earth do you carry that with you? I get as much of that done in stolen moments as I can. So those times, like I've told you guys a hundred times probably, you know, when I'm sitting waiting for somebody, you know, and I need to, you know, get some problems done or, you know, see where I left off reading in a certain textbook, I've got it all in one spot and I don't have to go flipping through my daily pages to find it. It's all in one spot. So that's why I have that in there. Also in those times when I have those stolen moments, um, sometimes I do work stuff. So this is all project pages. I moved all my project pages into here um, and then stuff that I'm helping Mike with, sometimes I help him with his schedule, like right now with playoffs, his schedule is super chaotic and up in the air from one week to the next. So I help him with calling patients and whatnot um, because he could take an hour to work on his schedule or he could take an hour to see a patient. So it makes a lot more sense if I'm kind of helping him out and making those phone calls when I can. Um, thank goodness he's really good about not taking advantage of the fact that I'm home all the time and he's running all the time um, because he, he's like, you don't have to do it. But I feel the poor guy's running his butt off, you guys. So I feel bad for him. So that is what's in this last one is all project pages. Um, video lists, the Evernote series, what's your why not, which I have not forgotten about. I, my brain just kind of all got drained out by the beginning of classes here. So now I'm kind of, I'm back on the horse again. Um, the lists for Mike and then um, other stuff for Mike, um, like hockey stuff that I'm helping him keep track of and whatnot. And that is it. That is the full on setup of this. A lot of babbling. I kind of, I'm sorry for that, you guys. It's been so long. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, like I said at the beginning, if you have one of these notebooks, shoot me a message and tell me how you would describe this leather. leather. Please help me out with that because I cannot describe this leather. What I can tell you is it's utterly gorgeous. I love, as like you can tell, I noticed when I watched back at the first portion of this so I could see where I left off before Liam came in, um, I noticed that I was petting it a lot. <laughs> I do it without even realizing it, um, but it's just so smooth and it's got, for me, it's my perfect as far as structure is concerned. It's got just enough structure in it to feel substantial, but it doesn't feel stiff. I, I'm really struggling describing this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have questions, let me know. If you can describe this leather better than I can, let me know. And uh, I am going to... Uh, refresh Liam's drink here and then probably move on to recording the next video. You guys take it easy. I hope you're having a fabulous spring. I will talk to you soon. Okay. Thank you.